Fall camp coverage continues on LibertyFlames.com. Joined by sophomore wideout B.J. Farrow. B.J., Lynchburg's home for you. Besides working out for football, how'd the summer go? I was in pretty pretty good. I mean, I was in the workouts. I just spent time with my family and my, my daughter. Yeah. So she stayed back in Pennsylvania. So I've been traveling back and forth to spend time with them. All right, it sounds good. What do you enjoy about this new paced offense? Uh, we keep hearing about it. It's fast paced. It's it's no huddle a lot of times. So what do you enjoy about it? I just enjoy that all receivers can make plays. Coach Daly said that we we're going to be able to make plays. We just got to go make them. So when the opportunity comes, we just got to perform and go make the play. BJ, I heard you talking on another interview about the offense and how much better shape guys are coming into the camp. Not that you never are under Coach Bill because he's the best in the country. But with the more reps you get, you're probably not as tired as you probably would be if you didn't have them. So shape wise how good of a shape is this team oh we're in the best shape better than last year i mean we had a couple games where conditioning was a big problem for us but this year we were great great shape for this uh, up-tempo offense and we can run routes all day bj i always think back to the coastal game and I, you and i've talked about it last fall you had the big touchdown to put you up with about a minute left i have never heard william stadium that loud before and what a springboard it was into the off season Moving on from spring ball, how poised is this offense to really score some points this year? Oh, I think it's really poised with the new offense. You know, we are running a lot of plays, so that gives us more opportunity to score a lot of more points. I mean, get extra yards, so I, I think it's big. A lot of people in the media, even ourselves on radio and TV, we'd say the, the torch has been passed to B.J. Farrow. Uh, but you're a very humble dude, man. You are team first. Individual stuff will happen second. That being said, from a leadership standpoint, only a sophomore, but you know, third year in the program, are you ready for that big, bigger role this year? Oh yeah, I think I am. I mean, I'm a quiet leader. I lead by example, so I might not talk a lot, but through my actions, I'll be a leader. We've seen a couple of the workouts already. Spring, uh, fall camp, really in the early stages, but from the quarterbacks, Stefan. Rudd and Buckshot, what have you seen from those guys? Oh, they're, they're both, all three of them are great. I mean, R Stephon obviously, starting quarterback. Yeah. Rudd and uh, Buck, two freshmen that can throw the ball. So I'm right. looking forward to keep catching pass from them on camp. So how about your other wideouts out there? Damian King and Zach Parker, Dante. Pretty good group of uh, kids in the stable to come back this year, right? Oh yeah, those those are those guys can do it all. I mean, we got we got people that can back them up if they go down. If I go down, we got people in, in the room that can make plays. And that's what it's all about. As long as we got people that can make plays when the opportunity is given, we'll be great. Now we know about the guys that are coming back. Who are one or two of the younger kids that have impressed you so far? I'm a freshman, Antonio. He's a big, big, strong, fast yeah. receiver. That Gandy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He can go get the ball, catch well. So, yeah, I'm looking for a big camp for him. Let's uh, get to know BJ a little bit off the f off the field right now, okay? You have your phone. What, what kind of apps are you into right now? <laughs> Just about every app. Everybody else here is Twitter, Instagram, yeah. Snapchat. How about this Pokemon Go thing? You into that? <laughs> yeah, I am. I <laughs> will admit I'm – just starting to get into Snapchat a little bit with uh, my kids, but the Pokemon Go, I haven't gotten myself to download that yet. What is the premise behind it for somebody that has no clue about what that is? Uh, I don't think you should get it, Dan. You don't know it. Okay, what I, I don't. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'll stay away from that one. Okay. <laughs> Instagram, though, Twitter, I'll hit you up on that, okay? All right. BJ Farrow, going to hear a lot from this guy coming up this fall. Appreciate the time. You're welcome.